please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream On. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So I'm so, so, so excited today. We're doing this journey together, literally. I am going to be doing a tutorial on the cinch. This is a binding machine and I make journal, um, planners, journals, all types of things. However, I already previously made a planner earlier this year. It's called A Brunch of Dreamers. It's for one of my women's group and it's a planner. I'm gonna make sure you see it all there. And with this planner, we get organized, right? So what I'm gonna do now is I previously printed this and then shout out to my bestie Lexi. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to bind it myself now. Good old Corona had us doing it. Even I was already going to do it, so I'm not even going to lie. But what happened was I stopped production for a minute just to get my mind right because there was a lot going on. And then I got a lot of requests for the planner. So here we are. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is the cinch. That is the name of the binding machine. It is made by We Are Memory Keepers. Now there are a lot, a lot of binding machines out there, but this is the one that I did my research on and I'm using today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so if you've never laminated before, I thought I'd put this in here. You want to make sure there's no dust or lint or anything on the pouch. Um, you want to put it in there where it's enough for you to cut the edges off, which you'll see a little bit later. But this is me putting in the pouch prior to laminating. Okay, this is just me laminating the cover. So I laminated the cover first, and I'm just showing you that. I have the actual Scotch um, laminator. I got it from Target, but it's on everywhere. It's on um, Amazon, everything. And I have the thermal Scotch paper. So that's just what I'm doing now. Uh, I laminated the front and the back page. Um, I later found a different way how to do it on one of my next videos. Here's the up close of the cinch if you've never seen it before. This is where it actually binds in the back there. This And depending on the wire, those are the inches that you would use. Here's just up close and personal, the little ruler portion. Um, on the side, that's where you put the wire, which you'll see later, um, where you put the wire before you're binding it. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I like this. Uh. And now this is me cutting off the edges. I actually do this a little bit different now too, but either way it's fine. Remember I left a little bit of space with the lamination. I normally, I now put the space on the other side of the paper so that's something that I changed but you um, want to make sure that the papers are the correct size and they're not the lamination papers or pouches are not the correct size so you're gonna have to make sure that it fits so the cover in the back isn't too um, it's not too much paper left over if that makes sense or too much lamination left over on the sides of you want to make sure that it fits and is the 8 by 5 and 11 inches so I'm just doing that right now make sure that we are binding it for the correct inches so this is an 8.5 by 11 okay so down here it shows you that it's very important for you to make sure you do the punch holes by the inches so because of the size of our particular um sheet that we're going to use we have to make sure that we open up 10 for this so this is my first time and so i saw a tutorial before they opened up 10 and 11 because of the size but we're going to open up 10. so like i said this is my first time doing this and we're going to do this together so it's a bunch of cool little things i did notice these are the holes that we're going to punch this is the handle that we use and also this so that we can put the entire page here 
There's a lock for when you put it down. There's a lock on the side for keeping it in place because we want to make sure everything is neat and sweet. Then there's a, part, a portion where we actually put the bind the wires there. I have my wire keeper, wire keepers. <laughs> I have my um, wire cutters there. This back here, we it goes by what inch wire um, wires that we have. We turn it, we push it down and turn it for that. And then this is gonna actually close it at the end. So let's go ahead and get started here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the paper in. You wanna make sure there's nothing in there, any of the punches, if you punched before. I already practiced my holes, but you wanna make sure that you practice. You always wanna practice, practice makes perfect. So we're gonna get started. Once we have the paper in secure, this is my first time doing it, y'all. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I hope that was right. No. It's perfect, perfect, perfect. Put this down. Lock it. That goes into one of the holes. That's the little lock I was talking about make sure that it's all in place so I'm gonna do it again because I want to make sure that it's nice and neat in the hole oh I almost went down we got to make sure we put this down because if we don't um, if we don't nine is gonna be the last hole so if we didn't pull this out, 10 would have cut the top off. It would have been like one of those half hole things, and that's not cute. So my first, I'll unlock it. Light it ever. It is perfect. Woo! Ch -ch 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 -ch. Hey. Should we punch that back in? Push this up. You have to be very careful. I, I noticed this already. Because if you make one little mistake, you'll throw everything off. So you want to make sure you're paying attention to what you're actually doing. All right. So now we're going to get these papers in. So what I researched was that 20, if you could do like 20 pages at a time. So we're going to make sure we don't put too much paper in here. Gonna bind it. I mean, you're gonna put the holes in. Okay, perfect, perfect. Make sure nothing is left in there, because we don't want it to mess it up if it is. the whole thing. Lock it. Pull out 10. Unlock it. Perfect. Let's see if they line up. And they do. Oh, snaps, crackle, pop. Oh, this, my, this literally is my first time for real. So I'm sorry, but I'm so excited. I said, we gonna do the first time on here too. Ah, okay. So you see it's a little bit thick. It's like a hundred, over 100 pages, a little bit over 100 pages. So I'm not gonna bore you. But I'm going to come back when we're on the next step. Ooh, I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. So just when I got in the groove, I literally thought I had it down pat. This is my first time. Oh, I got this. It's so easy. And look what I did. So you have to make sure 
everything is pushed all the way in and it's even. So I'm just going to be real transparent. This is my first time I messed up. Luckily, all the other pages are perfect. And it's literally one, two, the last three pages. Thank God. God is good. It was only the last three pages. The rest of these have went literally perfect. The last three pages, I literally was like, oh, I got this. Oh, this is easy. It's so easy. It is, but you have to pay attention to what you're doing. So I made my first little boo-boo. Thank God it was on the last three pages. Oh, my goodness. So I have some more printed out. So I'll just get these three pages and call it a day. But I wanted to so print out three more, but I have some. So. Thank goodness it was on the last three pages because I'm just in my zone and started relaxing and I messed up, went too fast. You have to be careful and make sure you're cleaning this out as you go and putting it all back and it's all even. That was my mistake. Womp, womp, womp. All right, y'all. Voila, magic. I did it. Yay. Even despite my first mistake, which was just a learning lesson, and we learned it together. So I've been wanting to get this so bad for the longest. I've been wanting to do planners and stationery, you know, it's literally for years. But when I saw this and I look at the tutorials, I was so intimidated by it. Just to be honest, if you were intimidated by this, if you haven't got one or you're thinking about getting one and you're intimidated, please comment below. It is not anything to be intimidated by. This was my first time doing it. I literally made one mistake. The rest of them, you probably can't see, but they literally are lined up perfectly. You probably can't see it, but they are so good. And it was my first time I made one mistake. So if you're intimidated, do not be intimidated. If I could do it, you can do it. Okay. So that's that step. Now we're going to go ahead and put it on the wire. So, we want to make sure we put it on this side that has like the hook. We put it here. Make sure it's down and in place. I'm watching this. I had recorded then, this months ago. I used a one inch wire yeah. when for the number of pages I should have used the a three fourth. I currently that. use the three fourth wires. Um, or five eighths, so what I did was when I laminated, or I a, little a one inch if it's larger. Room. So, so that was something that I, I learned later on. A little bit on. of protection. Oh, wait. See, like I said, let me slow down. Because when you, I don't know about you, but when I go fast, I make mistakes. So let me slow down and relax so I can put this in. This is my first time ever doing this. I've never done this before. Uh -oh. See, and we I lost I um, skip one, so you want to make sure all of them are going in there. So let me take a little bit less out. Let's put this one in. First. So funny watching this now. I was so nervous and so particular. I didn't want it to come off. It was this a little bit so big. I just <laughs> I I'm laughing at myself rewatching it now. But that's time, what you got to do. You got to actually do it, and you'll learn. Now. Okay. It was on wrong, so now it's on right. Like I said, this is my first time. So bear with me. Okay. I'm literally doing this for my very first time. I'm hope I, I hope I'm um, encouraging somebody or helping y'all because just in case y'all think if I could do it, you can do it. Trust me. We learn it, right? Together.
see, here we go. Oh, sniggity, sniggity snaps. Now, like I said, the um, this is a one inch, so it might be too big. It may have a lot more space, and then I'll just get the three-fourths later. This was my first time doing it. My first time. I'm very proud of myself. Yay! And like I said, we just have to learn how to do things. We'll all figure it out. Yeah, I definitely probably Well, I didn't bind it yet, but I definitely can see that I probably could have used the um, three-fourths. I'm assuming I could. All right. So here, so some people do it, they do it before they bind it, and some people do it after they bind it. But I'm going to cut it. I think I want to clip this right now. So we're going to go, let me, let me bind it first. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. All right. So we have to make sure it's for the right one. So this is a one inch. Yeah, I definitely could have went smaller. I can see that already. So we're going to try it. And we going to see. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Hope I'm doing this right. Okay. Yeah, this definitely needs to be smaller for the number of pages that I did. But it'll work for just to do it. Just for demonstration purposes. You see, you see how much bigger it is? I could have did three fourths, like really, really could have did that one. But I'm gonna do it a couple more times. And this one will just be my like my practice one or something. And this will hurt somebody. So I'm gonna just bend it in. Bend it down. Hope you can see that. I'm gonna bend it in. I'm gonna bind it some more. Dispose of that. But yeah, I definitely love the way the smaller things look better. Like I said, this was my first time, and it was me just trying to um see if I could do it. Honestly, I'll do some more tutorials when I have it down pat. When I'm a freaky freaky pro. But I mean, this is the basics of it. You just want to make sure that you get the proper size wire. And I have it. It's just coming on the way. I just was too excited because um, everything is delayed. My poor prime. I don't know how to act. I'm having prime withdrawals. So this would just be one of mine and then when i get the other ones i'll sell those again i mean it's not too bad it works but it's just not to my liking you know i want things to be a certain way this is too loosey-goosey i prefer it to be tight and right see that tight and smooth but like i said i didn't do too bad for my first time binding, guys. Tell me what you think. If you're a pro at this or something, give me some tips. If you're new to it, you feel more comfortable, let me know. But it works. I mean, it works. I just definitely want to go down further with the inches for this. Yay. I know how to do it, though, now, y'all. Ain't no stopping me now. You're not stopping me now. I done figured it out. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. And I'll do another one when I get the right size and when I become a pro at it. All right, guys. Thank you. Bye.
thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.